Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And today we're going to bring my Reading Rush TBR. I am participating in the Reading Rush uh, for the one week. It gives you seven prompts um, of books that you can read in seven days. Basically a book a day. I will link down below the video that they did where they introduced Reading Rush if you want to participate. It happens, uh, I think it's like the third week of July. So you've got some time if you want to do it. I would love to see what you are going to be choosing for that as well. So if you do a video or anything, or just leave me a list down below so I can see. So the, the first prompt is, Read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. And for me, my birthstone, I, I was born in October, so my birthstone is either tourmaline, which is pink, or opal, which is like kind of a whitish color, like a pearly kind of color. Um, I have also seen it where it looks kind of rainbow, like a diamond. But I have chosen Bunny by Mona Awad. I re this was actually on my Bookopoly list to read as well, so I might I might read it for that, I don't know. Um, but as you can see here, there's a couple different colors of the cover, but they're all mostly pink and black. So I chose that and not. Uh, Bunny is a horror story, kind of. It's like Mean Girls meets horror. Apparently, um, so the Heathers. Uh, some yeah, I think it's like Mean Girls meets Heather, but it's horror. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but I've heard people say that it's really great. So I thought I would just pick that up and read it. Um, the next one is read a book that starts with the word the, and I actually combined this one with a couple other prompts. Um, prompt number three, which is read a book that is inspired by a movie you've already seen, and I chose The Hate You Give. So one of the directions from this was you can totally double up if if you can find a book that matches several different prompts then you can do it that way and it it's actually easier for you because that's less books you have to read so um I have seen The Hate You Give and I had never read the book so I thought this was a great one to use for these two prompts because it totally fulfilled it. Um, I, w I did a lot of research trying to figure out what movie have I seen that I haven't read the book of it was it took me a while. Um, but I finally found one and this is it. So I'm excited for that. Prompt four is read the first book you touch. Now I have had the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson sitting on my shelf for literally five months, maybe six months, and I have not read them because I haven't had time. So um, I did like a little stack of books and I touched one and yes, I touched Truly Devious. I can finally start the series this week. So. I, I don't know a whole lot about it either, but when I read the whole series synopsis, I was like, this is something totally down my alley, so I am reading it. Uh, number five is read a book completely outside your house. So that prompt is basically like, you're supposed to read a book outside of where you are currently residing. Since they have put this prompt up though, there has been some like, not backlash, but like concern over people reading books outside their house because of the quarantine and everything. So they have made more stipulations. If you read the book by the window, if you read the book listening to nature sounds, all of this counts as outside <laughs> to be careful. <laughs> Why not just read it on your porch? You could do that too, but some people, they live in an apartment. Hmm. They can't really read it outside. So they're, they're making some stipulations for that and that's fine. Um, I chose, and you know, here in Florida, it's really hot right now. It's like in the hundreds. We, it's either raining or it's so hot you're going to faint if you go outside. So I probably will read mine next to a window, so I'm somewhere outside. But the book that I chose is very short. Um, it's called The Life-Changing Manga of Tidying Up. It is written by Marie Kondo, and I thought, this is great. Now I can read, like, illustrated versions of the book. I've, you know, I've seen the TV show. I know how it works. So. She voluntarily is reading a manga. I am, which is kind of a breakout thing for me, too, I guess. Yeah. Number six is read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. And for this, I put in a lot of thought. Um, and it was... It was Something when I when I finally decided what it was, it was kind of like a no-brainer at that point. So I chose African American literature, and then that way I was able to use the Hate You Give as part of this prompt as well. So I have that book for three different prompts. Number seven is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. And this one really tripped me up 
because I was trying to look for things that I already had, things that I wanted to read, and there were a, like a bunch of books that I had that took place in the UK, but at some point in the books the characters came over to the United States and did some stuff there and I was like, dang it! So um, I finally found one after asking around and it's a book that I just got in a swap called The Guest List by uh, Lucy Foley. It's one of those like, you know, whodunit type murder mysteries that happens in a mansion, I think. Um, so I'm excited to read that too. So um, yeah, that is all seven in my reading rush as Marshall just sits over there and drinks his energy drink. Yep. Thoughts about? I'm trying, I have been ever since we asked the first one, trying to figure out a book that's colored like a moonstone. <laughs> I got nothing. So this is why I didn't make him do it, because he doesn't have a lot of time to read, so... <laughs> uh, see, ever since I went back to work, I had to, you know, stick myself with primarily audiobooks, because I don't have much time to just sit there and be like... Right, exactly. exactly. So anyway, that is my Reading Rush TBR list, and, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy, uh, doing this if you do it as well. And thank you so much for watching, and until next time... Stay zany. Bye-bye.